Good evening and welcome to the San Siro Stadium. My name is Douglas Dean. My co-commentator this evening is Francesco Di Febo. Good Roma evening. show a number of changes from last week's game. Today, Mexes and Perotta are all suspended and the midfielder Daniele De Rossi has been suffering with a temperature and has been dropped to the bench. Inter have just one change enforced on them from last Wednesday's match. The central defender from Colombia, Cordoba, has been suspended and his place is taken by Marco Materazzi, a straight swap, an uncompromising central defender for another there, Marco Materazzi, the Italian international. Francesca, what do you think will be the key ingredients for tonight's game as Inter look to end what has been for them a disappointing season? Well, as you say, Inter are in a must win position. Uh, uh, but on the other side, I'd say the interesting key player could be Okaka, who's making his debut ever from, from the first minute in uh, the Italian Cup, in the Italian Cup final. And on the other side, I'd say Figo and Adriano will have to show off uh, all the quality we have and the a, skills. As you can see there, we have a an early flare that's been thrown onto the pitch. It's not entirely clear from here which section of the crowd it came from. Materazzi looked as though he was going to try and deal with it, but perhaps had second thoughts and probably very wisely. Adriano there, though, shows good strength and skill to hold off a defender and move away into the Roma half with the ball. And another player is beaten there and the cross perhaps can come in and it's bounced back to Cambiasso who has scored an absolutely magnificent left foot volley. Esteban Cambiasso, the Argentinian, has opened the scoring and it's another early goal for Inter. Five and a half minutes just under on the clock. What a strike, Francesco. Tremendous, terrific. You've never seen anything like that so far in Italian Cup. Left footed. Fantastic volley, edge of the box, incredible, nothing to do for Doni, which is a lovely finish. Absolutely caught it plumb with the outside of the left foot. Very, very clever play from Adriano, who shrugged off a defender. Inter have possession back, Walter Samuel was tough, hard as nails, Argentinian centre-back looking to start something, and it's found its way out to Favalli, Cambiasso the goal-scorer plays it in for Cruz. It's a bit of a miscontrol, but he's kept it and he's found Adriano. Adriano uses his strength to try and hold off Roma players, but they've outnumbered him, they've outbullied him and they've come away with the ball. Dacour, strong tackling player, but remarkably graceful on the ball, the Frenchman. And that's a lovely ball in and Okaka has let it run and Mancini has a chance and he tries to back heel it spectacularly into the goal. And he managed he, well, he managed to get a shot on target there, albeit a slightly unorthodox back heel, but I wonder if there was the chance to hit that first time. Oh, we've got a substitution here, Kivu. Well, this is a blow for Roma because Kivu's been in magnificent form for them recently. On comes Kufour, the first substitution of the game, and obviously no club likes to make an enforced substitution so early in the match. That's calm play from Samuel, does very well there. The Valley looking to make progress down this Roma left. Figo twisting away from one challenge and beating a second man very well. And for Valley has a good opportunity for a cross and it comes in. And Figo goes to ground, brother Cruz goes to ground. In fairness, he hasn't appealed for anything. I wonder if he just slipped. Roma blocked the throw in and Kufour has the opportunity to clear the ball away. Panucci helps. Figo up there, two old, experienced warriors. And Samuel will come across and cover this potential attack from Rome, does very well. As I think Fia Panucci played uh, together in Real Madrid times. Panucci, yes, absolutely. Uh, Panucci was the first player, remember, to win the Champions League with two different clubs. Won it at Milan, then transferred to Real Madrid and won it in his first season. Figo, who's starting to come into this match, has beaten another man. It's Panucci he's beaten, actually. They've had a... Yeah, it's been switched on the left. That's they had a few cross words. Yeah, they had a few cross words just a moment ago, and Figo has exacted the perfect revenge by uh, dribbling past the Roma number two, and he's earned his team a corner, which he's going to take himself. Yeah, Mancini's so good and talented in shuffling the cards and shifting uh, wings from one side to the other. So if Figo's corner comes in, it's close to the goalkeeper, and Doni punches it well clear. It's still with Inter though, they have the opportunity to put it back into the Roma 
air it's found Figo he's got a bit of space he left foot cross it's to the back post it's too I was tempted to suggest it had gone out of play but uh, Cambiasso perhaps managed to get to it before it had floated out of play but he could only pull it back into the side netting so either way the result is a goal kick Mancini not very happy with something perhaps Figo's cross which wasn't the best considering he had a bit of time and space to actually deliver an accurate one. And that's a lovely ball inside. If Kaja can just get it under control, he was stretching ever so slightly to get it under control, and that was just enough for the Inter Milan defence to clear it away. We've seen De Rossi coughing, and he's still <laughs> got temperature and fever. Interesting, perhaps, that uh, Francesco Totti, who was supposed to make a comeback against Treviso at the weekend, couldn't because he had the fever, and now... Daniel De La Rossi has gone down with it as Panucci crosses but there was no one there at the back post to get a touch on it for Roman Zanetti again very Cross elegantly attack. away and Stankovic with his first chance really to run at the players and he's found Adriano with a lovely ball Adriano sets his sights and perhaps over elaborated he tried to cut back inside and Decor read it and there was maybe time for Adriano to get a shot away yeah he's been thinking uh, a little bit too much Yeah, it's Trinch to knock his heart in Terminal and playing on the counter attack, which is not good in front of the home crowd. And Roma are growing up a little bit. Roma coming into this game perhaps more and more. The court maybe with a chance for a very long distance shot, but he's opted sensibly perhaps for Panucci, whose cross comes into the back post, and there's a bit of space there. It was unlucky. Car just sliding into the back post did well actually to get a foot on it but couldn't direct it back into the danger area Panucci's cross just a little bit too long you can see Car just sliding in could have gone anywhere but uh, in the end went harmlessly behind for a goal kick but uh, another promising moment for Rome Panucci takes it long Akaka looks to jump at the near post it's hacked away there by Stankovic and Kafour looks to keep Inter under pressure but that was a poor header in fairness he had time to bring that down and Adriano now perhaps with an opportunity to put them under more pressure he's sizing up the opportunity to take on the defender and that's a great piece of goodness me Cruz sliding in has sent the ball all the way back across and just wide of the near post that was fine play by Adriano could have been the game over that could well have been as you say that was it We have a long-range shot here from Bovo, who's got a powerful shot, but that one was uh, harmlessly into a pack of defenders, and into perhaps with the first half approaching its close, have the chance to break away, and Cruz, who can come through on goal and wrap this game up for Inter Milan, and he may well have done exactly that with a very, very cool, calm and collected finish. A brilliant, brilliant counter-attack from Inter Milan, it has to be said. They went from one end to the other in a matter of seconds. And Cruz, who scored that crucial away goal in the first leg, has doubled Inter's lead in the second. Very elegantly drifting round the goalkeeper and Kufre desperately trying to get back and slide in, but he wasn't able to get anything on it. And that could be a killer blow for Roma absolutely this could be game over for Roma half time uh, cup is going uh, staying in Milan once again for the second season a hole in front of Cruz has been running straight up target um, good counter attack but they've been lucky as well because the way uh, Bobo's effort was blocked um, on feet from uh, between Samuel and Maserati just uh, helped Cambiasso in uh, setting up the counter-attack. Yeah, as you say, they still had a lot to do. The shot from Bovo was remarkably long distance uh, away from the goal, and he was very ambitious, went for it, and indeed the whistle there has blown to signal the end of this first half, as Panucci and Adriano discuss something that uh, is a miss. Panucci perhaps indicating that Adriano is asking for a foul that he hadn't committed, and Adriano trying to explain his point of view as the players troop off for the end of this first half. The Inter Milan fans, of course, now in great voice. They lead by two goals to nil, and I wonder if they will now retain this cup. Inter two, Roma nil. 
the referee just about to get us underway for the second half, a second half in which Roma have a tremendous amount to do if they are to stand any chance of winning this cup. What do you think their best chance is, Francesco? Well, Monte to climb for, for Roma. Surely they need to send in uh, Alvarez or Tot is a more offensive player as they need something in the final third. They've been missing something in the final third. When Tomas in Karja not teaming up quite well in midfield. Uh, Dakur playing well, but surely tremendous task for Roma. Yeah, as you say, the uh, suspensions from the first leg have hit Roma rather hard. Today, Parotta and Mexes are all missing. Daniele De Rossi, who's such a force in their midfield, of course, also out. He had a fever. Figo looks to cross and try and really wrap this game up for Inter. A third goal, I'm sure, would probably kill it. Uh, defended there from Kufour and Cambiasso, who scored that splendid opening goal. Left-footed volley, looks to keep Inter moving along. And Figo, after a feint, plays it back to Zanetti. Zanetti across now, and uh, Roma really need to try and survive these jittery opening moments to the second half and play their way back into this game. There's no need to panic initially, but certainly they have to up it a gear, and there you can see... Good news. Good news for Roma fans, good news for all Italian fans, and indeed fans of football, because a fit and on-form Francesco Totti will be one of the big attractions in the World Cup next month. Panucci now with a throw. Kaja, who was uh, caught in possession a couple of times, had a couple of moments really at the uh, in the first half where he had good possession on the edge of the Inter Milan penalty area and a first touch let him down and Cruz again has done very well, he's turned his man and looks to come forward, Adriano has drifted out one way, Cruz comes inside the other, is he going to shoot? No, he's going to opt for Figo now on the right hand side, Figo looking to defeat his man and he's well, he's done very well the defender there, Lovely defender Kufre, Kufre. yeah very Been very waiting. good tackle waiting to the last second didn't jump in on the Portuguese international he stayed on his feet and then committed at exactly the right time and defended his team's goal very very well and ooh, very clever pass inside there for Karja but Karja wasn't really on his on the tips of his toes for it rather flat-footed and didn't make it to the ball Decor now looking to keep Roma moving Mancini who's dropped a little bit deeper in this second half in these early stages we've noticed Kufre after that Splendid tackle on Figo. Can he do something at the other end? Kaja, well, he gets ahead on it, but in fairness to the French player, there was never going to be much danger of it going too close to the goal. And there's the change. It's the number 35 for Roma, Okaka, Stefano Okaka, young player, inexperienced. He's, he's done as well as could be expected, I suppose, against two very, very wily veteran defenders, Materazzi and... Samuel at the centre of the inter defence and a very, very warm welcome for the Rome number 10, Francesco Totti. Here's Figo looking to use his skill and his experience to create something. Solari down the left hand side, back again. Now Stankovic with a shot, it's, or Pizarro rather with a shot, but it's. Uh, could have been awkward, it was bouncing, but uh, it's drifted through for the goalkeeper and Roma have another chance. That was uh, Martins, the young Nigerian striker that you saw tucking his shorts in and tying up the laces on the shorts, ready to come on. Uh, do you think for Adriano? Yeah, probably for Adriano. Oh, and the, the ball has come through for Tomasi and a chance for Roma here. Oh, and he just... Wasn't sure if he was trying to shoot or to send a little cheeky cross to the back post, and in the end it uh, was neither, but he has won the corner. And it's a short one, and it's taken to Kufre. Kufre does have a powerful shot. He's gone for goal. It uh, was a nice idea, but in the end it was curled straight into the arms of Julio Cesar, the Brazilian goalkeeper for Inter Milan. Brazilian number two, his number one for the Brazilian journey plays across the city um, for AC Milan, across the cathedral, they say here in Italy, don't they? The other side of the cathedral. Yeah. Or as the other side of the river in Rome. Brazilian goalkeeper, of course, also for Rome at the site this evening, Doni, and it is indeed Adriano. He's had a better game this evening, I thought. He's, um, he was very, very 
anonymous in the first game apart from setting up the goal. Um, but tonight he's looked a lot stronger, he's made some good runs, he's created some chances. Totti slotting the ball into the path of Kajo, who goes again. And Kajo, that was an intelligent run. And if he can cut the ball back here, Roma could have something. Totti goes for it. Oh, and just drags the shot wide. The Ooh, first the sight of goal for Roma in the second half. And Totti, he was quickly onto it. It was, was a ooh, tremendous what? effort. It was, it was a was... tremendous effort. He caught hold of it well, and it, ay, 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 it just Ronnie drifted wide. The ball. You know, something you never you never see usually. Vigo now, Pizarro flipping the ball forward, and that's a good run because uh, a good ball because Martins is extremely quick and Cruz could finish it. He goes to ground rather easily, and Martins has a chance to finish it, and he has finished it. Martin, well, he puts his hand on his head, and I think perhaps the referee might have disallowed. No, he hasn't. Martins put his hand on his head and looked very disappointed. Perhaps he thought the referee was either going to disallow it or was going to award the penalty for Cruz going to ground. But amidst the confusion, Inter have scored their third goal and it's the substitute Martins. Let's see what happens here. Well, that's clearly not a penalty, that's a dive. But Cruz, well, in fairness to Cruz, he was alive. He got up quickly, he set Martins up and Martins had the time and space to plant his shot through well Roman now in big big trouble that's a very very clumsy challenge from Matarazzi and that was well that looked to me rather cynical and Kufre has gone down holding his side there Matarazzi deservedly and understandably getting the yellow card And you just caught a glimpse there of more flares being thrown onto the pitch in the corner. I couldn't quite see whether that was from Inter, Ma Inter Milan fans or from Roma fans as Roma look. And Roma have pulled a goal back. No. Well, the referee, the referee has disallowed it. I'm not entirely sure what a fr infringement he saw. Um, perhaps, well, Kufre was appealing. No, it's been given. Oh, it has been given. No celebrations from a lovely cross from Totti. None doubt inflicted in. Probably a known goal. Yeah. Probably Cambiasso touched it. Oh, it's been it's been given and it's been credited to Nonda. So with ten minutes to go, is there perhaps a little glimmer of hope for Roma? The fans certainly think so. They're still in very, very good voice. They've been in good voice all evening, in fairness to them, the Roma fans. Obviously delighted to see Francesco Totti there captain and very much the star player back in action here's Martins though wonder if there's another goal or two in this game yet Solari well there oh what a lovely save that was great uh, it's Kili Gonzalez they pushed across to him and he he hit it I'm not sure if it was on target it certainly looked to me as though it was going to find the far corner and Donny oh that's a lovely save he got a hand to it and it hit the ground and just spun over the bar yeah, it's interesting that um, Italian clubs of course a reputation for strong disciplined football plenty of individual skill and flair but the supporters oh Solari looks to wrap the game up with a left-footed shot to the far post dragging it just wide a lot of the Italian fans in similar really to the the fans in England they like to see the players battling for the ball they like to see that the players are passionate and that they believe in the cause and that's been a criticism leveled at a number of these inter players that perhaps they don't really want it enough but in this second leg they've looked controlled they've knocked the ball around quite nicely they've counter-attacked well they scored three very good goals certainly the first two were magnificent and there it is the final whistle has been blown and Inter Milan have won their fifth Italian Cup trophy. They retained the title they won last year, also against Roma. They have won on aggregate by four goals to two. And an ultimately disappointing season comes to a close with Inter Milan winning for the fifth time the Italian Cup.
and the celebrations, I'm sure, will go on long into the night.